morning everyone and welcome back to another Dubai vlog. I woke up this morning, sun is shining, it looks so nice outside. We are going to head to a different beach today. There are quite a few different beaches in Dubai and there's one that I see a lot of people go to when they come here and it's called Kite Beach and I believe it's right near the Burj Al Arab and I've never been to that area of Dubai before so we thought it'd be fun to go there see the beach, see the Burj Al Arab because I've never seen it like up close before. And it also looks like there are some gorgeous restaurants, cafes, coffee shops around there. So obviously we're gonna go to one of those as well. So it should be a really nice day. I also really wanna show you the outfit that I'm wearing today. It's this little play suit from White Fox. And I just love it. It's like, I wanna say like swimming costume material. It's, meant, it's like the active range but I just thought it'd be perfect for Dubai, especially if it's meant to be hot today. So this is my outfit of the day. We're gonna get ready and get a taxi over to Kite Beach. I think it's about half an hour taxi, I wanna say. Hello. So we just made it to Kite Beach and we're just gonna have a little wander around here. It feels so hot today though. I need to put some sun cream on ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cool. They've made it look like a paint roller at the bottom. It's well good, isn't it? Really good. They have loads of little food trucks. It's so cool. And they also have a little oak berry food truck as well. Well, I can hear about it. And they have a TGI Fridays one. There's a Krispy Kreme truck behind the oak berry. There are so many. There's everything you could ever want around there. That's so cool. So you can have a beach day and just run and get something from here. Yeah, I like it here it. so far. There's a Cinnabon. Just was happy. My fave. It is so nice along here. I didn't even really know this place existed. I've seen it on Instagram briefly and a lot of people stay at the Jumeirah Beach Hotel which is kind of near the Burj Al Arab um, but yeah I literally wouldn't have even thought to come here and we would have missed out it's so gorgeous the beach is like such nice sand as well I saw on Instagram someone saying this area gives them California vibes obviously I've never been to California so I don't know but it kind of reminds me a little bit of like photos and videos I've seen of Venice Beach yeah it does like a windy boardwalk on yeah. That nice sand. yeah it's really nice also it's super quiet like it is only 10 30 but i thought it'd be way more busier than this there's a lots of people like on their like morning runs and it's actually such a nice vibe here it's like the gold coast yeah it is so we are now heading to a little cafe that i found and it looks gorgeous it's called concrete with a k and it's about a 20 minute walk so we're gonna head there now Let's see what it's like, but it looks beautiful from the photos that I've seen. We love a nice cafe. This looks so good. I got an ice latte. Nice. That's actually a really good one. I always get a little bit scared of the ice, like, I only like an ice latte if it's sweet. That was such a gorgeous coffee shop. I love this sort of like concrete style. It kind of reminds me of a like coffee shop that we went to in Bali. Like that sort of vibe. Stunning, definitely recommend. Really expensive though. It was 66 AED for our two coffees. I'll put it on the screen, I can't work out exactly what that is. I can't remember again. I can't remember the conversion, but I all like, I know is it is expensive. It's like seven, eight pound of coffee. Yeah. yeah. So you do definitely get what you pay for. So we're now just going to have a walk towards the Burj Al Arab. Um, see if there's anything around that area. I'm not sure if you can actually get close to it. Or... It's a, the road goes down to it. I don't know if you can walk on the road or I don't know. Not sure. We're just going to have a little explore of this area whilst we're here though.
apartment i've just spent the last few hours chilling i've also done some editing so yeah it's been a good day but we thought we would go out and catch the sunset because it looks like it is just about to start getting dark so we're gonna head to jbr see if we can see anything i actually saw on instagram someone saw the most unreal sunset the other night i absolutely love a sunset so i did have slight fomo that i didn't go out so we're gonna go out tonight see if we can see anything We didn't quite catch sunset, but we can see the remnants of it and it's like a really nice orange glow. So still super pretty. We're gonna have a little walk along here though. It's so busy at night. Like it really does like liven up at night here. Guys, I actually feel so sticky and gross from being in the sun and sweating today. So I thought I'd have a shower, wash off my makeup, get into some pajamas. And yeah, freshen up. Chicken wraps. I actually feel like we're just turning into kids. Like with our dinner choices now. No, they're normally actually chicken. Yeah, this is, I don't know if you can see it, wait. Hopefully you can see this, but we've got chicken nuggets in wraps. We're actually tying into kids. I actually don't know why we bought chicken nuggets. <laughs> Such a random choice. I haven't had nuggets in ages. Is it nice? Mmm. That is such a mm. slight wrap. Mmm. Good morning, everyone. It is so bright and sunny today. I love it. So we're currently just out walking to get our morning coffee, as usual. Do we expect anything less? Probably not at this point, but we're just gonna head over to JBR, have a little walk around in the morning. It's good to get out first thing. Yeah. How are you feeling today, Joshua? I'm good. Anything else? <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I mean, I woke up and felt like I had a bit of a cold, but I feel like it's gone now. That's good. I might, it might just be the aircon, actually. Yeah, maybe. I have to turn it off at night. But yeah, other than that, I can't really complain. It's probably the hottest it's felt, maybe. Yeah, I'd say so. Tiny breeze. You know what I mean? Living life. Going to get a coffee? What more could you want from life? <laughs> it's actually such a gorgeous view from here. Yeah, probably. Probably sick of it. Sick of us. and I've just been sat here doing some admin, doing some editing, just getting my life together this afternoon. So I'm gonna continue doing this. It's actually so nice and warm sat out on the balcony. I actually love being outside. And actually, to be fair, we don't have the best view, but I love the view of the skyscrapers. So I actually really like being out here. evening everyone so we're currently in the kitchen we're making ourselves some dinner we actually bought this baguette can you cut it up oh yeah it's part of it we bought a baguette we're making our little sub roll things again we are literally obsessed with them we're cre we are creatures of habit yeah we exactly we're creatures of habit we love what we know and we're currently loving having this for dinner the chicken that we use where is it is it in here this is the chicken that we're putting in it. It's this shredded chicken and it's so good. Like it tastes 10 out of 10. So yeah, this is what we're popping in it with some lettuce, some cucumber, some mayo. Mm, it's a good time. So that is what I'm dinner again, again. That is actually the one thing I love being about being love. What's what am I trying to say? I love being about an adult. No? <laughs> that's one thing I love about being an adult. Yeah, that's the one thing I love about being an adult is that you can just eat what you want, do what, what you want. No one can tell you yeah, off for eating the what same meal. Right? What? Pan pancake day, my mum would always tell me, um, you got to have dinner, you can't, once you're old, like, basically, once you're, you're an adult, you do it. I don't think I've ever, since being older, just had pancakes for dinner. I don't no. even ever have pancakes. It's for like, 
I remember when one day though you had cereal for dinner and you're just like it's because I'm an adult I can just do what I want. Well, it's true, isn't it? Like, yeah. I could I could just eat like twelve Krispy Kreme donuts for dinner if I wanted. Yeah. Who's gonna tell me I can't? Exactly. So remember, life gets better as you get older. Do what you want. Not that my mum would let me do what I wanted anyway, but you know what I mean. Jasper's got some really orange cheese on his one. I mean, each to their own. What is it, cheddar? Yeah, it said mild cheddar on the thing. Just add in some salad bits. I'm gonna put a little bit of this Nando's Peronese on as well. Can you put a uh, barbecue on my one, please? Barbecue? Yeah. Mm. There you go. Yum. Barbecue for Jasper. Voila! Careful because my subs like ripped all the way through now, so it's fine. Yeah, like... so it's mine. Ah. I feel like I need to sit closer to you so it looks like we're a couple, you know? <laughs> it looks like we hate each other at the moment. <laughs> I'm like so over here, like, yo. <laughs> So we've had a slight change of plans. We weren't gonna do this when we come to Dubai because we just didn't see the point in it. But actually having thought about it, we've decided to do it and we're gonna hire a car. Um, we ordered it last night and it actually got delivered first thing this morning. So that was really quick and it just got delivered to us. Usually we have to go like pick it up and stuff, but no, it was really good, super easy. So we've got a car for the next few weeks, which is gonna make life a lot easier because don't get me wrong, it's so easy to get a taxi here, like super quick and easy, but it does add up and we sort of like don't do activities because it's like, oh, it's gonna cost like 10, 15 pounds to get a taxi there and 10, 15 pounds to get a taxi back. So it's just gonna give us so much freedom. And we also had a parking space with this Airbnb, so it just made sense to get one. So super excited, kind of wish we got it a little bit earlier. We're gonna head down and properly check out the car. We literally just picked the keys and then came back up here. So we're gonna go do that. This is the beast. It's an MG. Don't know, I literally don't think I've ever seen this car before. Do they have MGs in the UK? Let's get in. I'm so excited. Jasper's obviously driving first. All right, let's go. Seatbelt on. It's actually such a big car. I'm kind of scared to uh, big. drive this one. It's hot in here though. It's well confusing. Look at the current road that we're driving on. <laughs> There's so <laughs> many seven, lanes. It's a seven lane motorway, I think. Seven lanes. It's like the junction, it's not like UK. It's just yeah. like. There's just loads of like windy roads just switching, but obviously we just don't know. We don't know the system. Waze doesn't really decipher which road to take, so yeah. we kind of went the wrong way straight away, but we're on the right direction now. Yeah. You're doing good. I won't be able to see this. <laughs> So we have just come to our first place in the car and obviously it's gonna be a coffee shop. And this one that I found looks so aesthetic and beautiful and I genuinely didn't think we were gonna come visit it because it is like a half an hour like taxi, but now we can drive. I thought let's come here first. It's called La Nina and it looks gorgeous. So let's go inside. Although it's really strange location because it's like in an industrial estate. And I was like, surely this isn't the right place, but apparently so. How was your first drive in Dubai? I mean, one too bad. Yeah. A lot of traffic. A lot of people cut you up, but not bad. You basically, just got to pay attention because there's no, there's not. It gives the vibes. It's not really like a. Even though there is meant to be like slow lane, fast lane, but it's kind of like any lane you can undertake, overtake. Scary. But, no, Scary. It's not too bad. Guys, that coffee shop was so relaxing and calming. Like the dim lighting, the mood in there, the decor, stunning. Probably the nicest coffee shop I've ever been to. It was actually really strange in there because when you first walk in, there's like some really nice tables set up. And it turns out half of it is a furniture shop and the other half is the cafe. Um, so yeah, it was really cool in there. Like I would literally love all that furniture in my house. Like I love that kind of like concrete style. But anyway, we are now back in the car and we're just having a little drive around. We are planning on heading to the Palm, um, heading to the mall there and going for a little walk around there because when we did that the other week, it was such a gorgeous walk. So 
so we're just having a walk near the golden mile on the palm and it's so gorgeous along here like it's actually such a nice place to go for a walk we came here a couple of weeks a couple of weeks ago now yeah, it was um like it's like our first day here so yeah we're just having a little walk along here stunning palm trees such a nice place so yeah i actually love it Today has been such a fun day, like it is literally flown past. We actually didn't really do too much today apart from drive, but it was good. At least we're kind of like getting familiar with the roads and how they work and everything, the signs. So yeah, it's an adjustment. But we came back and chilled for a bit and then we decided to go in the pool because we actually haven't been in the pool in the evening, the pool that's in our apartment block. And it was so gorgeous. Like the skyscrapers all lit up, look so beautiful. The pool was all lit up, which looks so nice. And it's open until 10 p.m. So I was like, we need to just do this every night because it was so nice out there. I think we actually need to make the most of like the facilities that we've got here. So the gym, the pool, because as soon as we leave here, I know we are definitely gonna miss it. So yeah, I just wanna make the most of it whilst we're here. Also car rental in Dubai isn't actually that expensive. Like I thought it would be way more. Um, but when you're not getting a supercar, because I feel like a lot of people come here and like hire a Lamborghini or Ferrari or something like that. When you're not doing that and you're just getting your most basic car, like pretty much standard car, um, they're actually not too badly priced. So we booked it initially for two weeks and it cost 300-ish pound with like the full insurance and everything and both me and Jasper on it. So we booked it through Discovery Car Rentals. So I'll leave a link in the description th for them. We had a look across a couple of websites and that one was the cheapest one we could find. So yeah, I will leave a link to them in the description box. Hopefully the vlogs from now on should get a little bit more interesting because we can just explore a little bit further and we don't just like stay in the Marina JBR area so we can go wherever we please, which is just gonna be so fun. So yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog if you have enjoyed this dubai vlog please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss out on any other videos and other than that i should catch you in the next episode bye